So for web environments, we have two types. The first is the load balancer environment. And this is where it is using an auto scaling group to set it to scale. It uses an elastic load balancer. Um, and so the idea is that, you know, if you need a load balancer, this is gonna be the one that you can utilize. There's obviously a lot more flexibility having a load balancer because then it's very easy to attach a custom domain. Um, and I don't know, this is just ideal if you're gonna run anything in production. You can also run a single instance. This is the same setup, except that you're not going to have a load balancer in front of it. Um, it still uses an auto-scaling group, but the desired capacity is set to one to always ensure that it's running, which is a good practice. Even if you are not using a load balancer, I would use an ASG with EC2 instances. Uh, the public IP address has to be used to route the traffic to the server. So if you're using RefID3, RefID3 would point to the load balancer, and then in a single instance, you'd point to the IP address. And I didn't write it in here, but it actually sets up an elastic IP address. So that is another thing to consider, okay?